If I were to describe the centre of the world, it would be rich. Pioneering. Innovative. Important. Inquiring. Inspiring. Encourage. All capital letters. When we start, I remember Gavin saying to me, this is about 10 years ago, do you know how many foundations there are in America that support investigative journalism? It's 48. How many are there in the UK? One at that stage. Well, it was at CIJ where I've learned my basic investigative skills. Um, they were the ones who brought data journalism to Britain from the US. The data journalism was great because we took David Donald and I went to the Financial Times and ran their very first, not course, but discussion on why data journalism was so important. And I would say that the majority of people in the UK, if they have data journalism experience or knowledge, have learned it through the Centre for Investigative Journalism. There are many, many courses and many trainers around this country and elsewhere who deliver some kind of data training, some kind of journalism training but not many people put it together and would call it investigative. Hundreds of reporters across regional and national newsrooms who have been involved with CIJ in some way, either through data training or by giving back and, and, and sharing these, their skills and knowledge. I think sometimes journalists think they know it all, and they don't, and it's always worthwhile to pick up new skills. All these people are there, they're all questioning and more importantly, they're all gaining skills which they can take to their workplaces, to the places they live in, the countries they live in, and spread out to other people. And all of the skills that I use in my day job pretty much came from courses I've done at CIJ. I mean, it just, you know, extends your, your skill ability almost without measure. Investigative journalism has a whole set of skills that can be taught that you're not just born with or without. Um, you can be taught these skills and it's organisations like the CIJ that are imparting them. But there was an atmosphere of camaraderie that stuck and that got people to come back again and again. And you could feel that as well in the class when when they were training, they were training with a sense of purpose. I've met so many people, so many future colleagues, so many people I've trained or who have trained me and then met in other contexts and other parts of the world through the centre. So it's a massive resource in the UK as an investigator. The CIJ has given me the confidence to um, provide more freedom of information sessions outside the CIJ but also uh, going to universities around the country to, to do these type sessions. With the value now of you get it, you pass it on. So many of the trainers here currently were originally taught by CIJ. So there is a real sense of passing on the baton. So for me, learning from people within the centre and then going on to teach within the centre has transformed me. The organisation succeeded beyond its dreams. I mean, there are always growing pains and what have you, but it's now an established part of the calendar at the CIJ Summer School. I'm very widely respected. And it's just an impressive way of training. They're, they're actually showmen, and they entertain you from the first minute until the last, and when it's finished at the end of the day, you want to take it again. It's, it's that good. With CIJ, it's a sort of network, a family, a collection of people. And it's a friendly place. Uh, I've known the people that have worked here for several years now. Um, I, I, yeah, I think that it's more like a family than anything, I suppose. <laughs>